My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn some math, some basic elementary math that will help us prepare for any of these tests here ACT, SAT, GMAT, GRE. Some basic math that we need to learn. And one of the basic facts that you have to know by heart in order for you to sit for any of these exams are the quarters and the eighths, particularly the eighths. You must know their fractional form, you must know their decimal form, you must know their equivalent percentages. Let's learn. Let's learn them, shall we? Let's begin. Let's begin. We want to learn all the eighths. Now learning the eighth and learning learning the eighth and learning the quarters is one and the same. There is no difference between the two. And of course everybody knows the quarters. So let's begin our story with the quarters because everybody, as, a, as we said, everybody knows the quarters. So let's begin. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and finally four quarters. We all know that one quarter is same as 0.25, which is 25%. A quarter of something is 25%. Everybody knows that. Two, two, two quarters, of course, Two quarters, of course, is the same as half. If you have two quarters, that's, it reduces to half, which of course is 0.5. Everybody knows that half is 0.5, which is 50%. Similarly, three quarters, three quarters, everybody knows that it is three quarters of something is 75%, which is the same as 0.75, and four quarters is just one, which is four quarters, four over four is just one, is just one, which is 100%. What we need to understand here, and what we need to, what, what the connection that we need to make here is, what does learning the quarters, what does knowing the quarter has to do with knowing your eights? But as we said in the beginning, they are one and the same. There is no difference at all. There is no difference between knowing your eighth, eights, and knowing your quarters. For example, this one quarter is nothing other than two eights. If you have two over eights. And if you reduce it, 2 over 8 reduces to 1 quarter. The only thing that, that we need to memorize here, the only thing that we need to memorize, which we're going to put it on the side here, the only thing that we need to understand is that a half of quarters, half of a quarter is an eighth. Half of a, half of a quarter is an eighth. And how do we write this thing in the in the in the in the, in the form of an equation? Well, just exact, just like what it says, half, half. What does off mean? Off means times half of a quarter, half of a quarter, a quarter is. And how do we write is? Is means equals. Is one eighth. Is is one eighth. As we can clearly see, one times one is one. And at the bottom we have 2 times 4, which is 8. There you go. Half of a quarter of a quarter, half of a quarter is, is means equals 1 eighth. That is the only thing. This is the only fact we need to know. And as long as we know that, we can derive, we can figure out all of our eighths. We'll see that, we'll see that in a second. So now we know that half of a quarter is an eighth. A quarter, a quarter we know is 25%. So what is half of 25%? What is half of 25? Well, half of 25 is very easy. What is half of 24? Don't try to figure out half of 25 the way it is. Ask yourself what is half of 24? Well, half of 24 is 12. Half of 24 is 12. But 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 2 is 24. We have 25 here. So we have a one left over. We need to take a half of that, half of 1 is just 1. In other words, half of 25 is 12 and a half, 12 and a half. that's our 1 eighth. It is our 1 eighth because it's half of 25 and 25% is 1 quarter and half of 1 quarter, half of 1 quarter is 1 eighth. Half of 1 quarter is 1 eighth. So here we have our 1 eighth, which is half of 1 quarter, and therefore it is half of 25%, which is 12 and a half percent. What is that going to be in the, in the form of a decimal? Well, it's going to be because remember with this 0.25. If you have if you have 0.25, you can keep adding zero to it. It doesn't change anything. So look at this thing as 0 0.250, and we're going to divide that 0 0.250 by two. We're going to take a half of it. We're going to divide it by two. 
what can we do? Let's do it right here. Let's do it right here. How many? So here is here. How many? How many twos in a zero? Zero has no two. Then we have our decimal. How many twos in a two? Two has one two. How many twos in a five? Five has two twos. Five has two twos. Two twos are four. The remaining one goes and joins the zero becomes a ten. How many twos in a ten? Ten has five twos. Which makes perfect sense, which makes perfect 1.25. There you go, point 0.125, which makes perfect sense because what we had here was 0.25, which can be written as 0 0.250, which can be written as 0 0.250. Think of that as 250. Half of 250 is 125. Think of it like think of it like that. Half of 250 is 125. So half of 0.25, half of 0.25 should be 0 0.125. Of course, it's 0 0.125 because that's how we get 12 and a half percent. Because when we, when we convert this into percentage, we have to multiply it by 100. When we convert the decimal into a percentage, when we convert a decimal into a percentage, we multiply it by 100. And if we do that, this decimal point moves here. One, two, it ends up here. It becomes 12.5 percent. 12.5 percent is exactly what we have here. 12 and a half. But in the decimal form, it is 0 0.125. 0 0.125. 0 0.125. That's our eighth. Now, as long as you know your eighth, everything is downhill. Everything from now on is going to be downhill. So that's one eighth. That's two eighth. Let's put three eighth right here. Let's put a three eighth right here. Okay, three eighth. Three eighth is going to be same as three eighth should be same as two eighth plus an eighth, which makes perfect sense. Three eighth should be no different than two eighth and an eighth. But two eighth we know. Two eighth we know is a quarter. So it's simply going to be two eighth, which is quarter, which is twenty five plus 0.125 and if you add them up you'll end up with 0 0.375 0 0.375 or if you like if it makes it easier for you just do the addition here right here 12 plus 25 12 plus 25 is 37 37 and a half percent 37 and a half percent which in decimal form is going to be 0 0.375 so we have our one eighth we we got our one eighth we have our 2 eighths, we have our 3 eighths. Now this 2 over 4 can be written as 4 over 8. 4 over 8 is just half. That's our 4 8, which is 50 percent, 0.5. Let's do 5 8. 5 8, again it's going to be the same as 4 8 plus an 8. 5 8 is simply 4 8 plus an 8. 4 8 is half, so it's 50, 50 plus 12 and a half. That's what it is. Every time you take the previous one and just add 12 and a half percent to it because this is the four, this 50 percent is 4 8, 4 8 plus an 8, 4 8 plus an 8, which is 12 and a half percent, 4 8 plus an 8 is going to be 50 plus 12, which is 62 and a half percent. Try to understand it intuitively, don't just memorize it like a parrot. And that is going to convert into a 0.625. Then we have three quarter. Three quarter is same as six eighth because six eighth, six eighth will reduce to three quarter. So we got our one eighth, two eighth, three eighth, four eighth. We have our five eighth. We have our six eighth, seven eighth. How do we figure out seven eighth? Well, just like we have done before, which is seven eighth. Seven eighth is same as six eighth plus an eighth. Six eighth plus an eighth. But 6 to 8 we know is 75%. So it's 75% plus 12 and a half percent. 75, 75 plus 12, 75 plus 10 is going to be 85, 85 plus 2 is going to be 87, 87 and a half percent. 87 and a half percent. Which is going to be same as 0.875. Another way we could have figured out 7, 8. Another way could have, we could have figured out is 7, 8 is to realize that 7, 8 should be same as 8, 8, Minus an eight. Eight eight. This is eight eight, you see? So seven eight, seven eight is also equal to seven eight is also equal to eight eight minus an eight. Eight eight minus an eight, eight eight is one hundred percent. So eighty seven and a half percent is same as eighty seven and a half percent is same as a hundred percent minus a twelve and a half percent. Hundred percent is the eighth eight, which is the whole minus twelve and a half percent, which is one eighth. So if you have eight eight, take away one eight, you will end up with seven eight. So you can either take away an eighth from eight eight, or you can 
8, you, or you can add an 8 to 16. Either way, you will get your 7, 8. The point we, have to understand, point we need to understand here is that all the 8s here that we need to learn here all depend on this guy right here, 1, 8. Knowing the 1, 8 is the most important part, which is 12.5%. 2, 8, of course, is the same as 1 quarter. 3, 8 is right here, which is 0.35 or 37%. 4, 8 is, of course, just 50%. Here's our 5, 8. Here's our 5, 8, which is 0.625 or 62.5%. 6, 8 is just 3 quarter, which is our 6, 8. 7, 8. 7, 8 is 87.5%. 87.5%. And finally, 8, 8 is just 100%. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Why not? You must know these eighths and the quarters by heart. Do you understand?